And because units finished them so quickly, oh, looks like Next Genius' Observer almost took a dive into the ground, but fortunately pulls it back at the last second. Yes, because units take so short to finish, you always have to remember to keep going back and building new ones. So every single unit that is on the map was individually built by these players. They'll be very, very active with that high APM. Now, as we can see, he's floating a factory over here. Don't be confused. The factory is not very useful for Terran in this matchup, in this situation, but it can fly, so you might as well scout and see what your opponent's doing. That's right. He has a much better idea now. He does have those Vikings out, as you see. That is the counter to Colossus. They have a really long range, can hit that Colossus unit and do a lot of damage to it. So much of this game will be based upon how well he can control these units to snipe out those Colossuses. Now, the one real thing that Next Genius needs to worry about is making sure he has enough gateway units. Like you were saying, Artosis, the Colossus is the money unit in this matchup. Protoss desperately wants to keep them alive as much as possible, but they are only strong if there are a lot of basic gateway units underneath them. So without a lot of gateways, Next Genius should be a little bit more vulnerable than normal. Well, look at here. Let's take a look at the supplies of the players. We have Next Genius at 131 supply, and we have 127 for loners. Four supply at this point. These two are in a dead heat. Neck and neck. I guess the only thing I could say is doing a little bit of of game intelligence. Uh-huh. Um, spotted everything's, everything low. Towards those Colossus, the Viking have such long range. They can pick off just one or two Colossus. Oh. That would be huge. And he's getting some shots off. Oh, no, it's on hold position. He doesn't notice in time. And he loses oh. the Colossus for nothing. That oh. is a big Whoa. deal right there to get a free Colossus, getting almost no damage on his Vikings. That is going to set Loner ahead a little bit here because neither player is taking a third expansion. You need that third base because eventually your two bases will run out, and whoever has the most economy in StarCraft is generally the winner. Yeah, I mean, getting a free Colossus is a lot like finding a, just a car in your garage you didn't know was there and going, great, perfect. I mean, it is a huge boon to be able to take that out. Looks like Terran's going to stick with um, bio, or in other words, just, you know, marines, marauders, um, you know, n not done too many mechanical units, except for, of course, the Vikings. Uh, and it looks like he's going to try to go in here and snipe, assassinate one of these Colossuses. Let's see. Hmm. I really like these scans that he's placing. He's seeing where the Colossus is, then he's going to try to find from an angle where he can snipe one. Now, here he goes again. The Colossus is just sitting there. Are they on hold position? Oh. No, they start running. But a lot of damage. Oh. Points left on that Colossus, but still, that is going to carry through, and that Colossus will not survive long in a real battle. Okay, we got the command center on the way here. Loner going to expand most likely in this region. And he's got to be careful with these Vikings because, believe it or not, even though Vikings fly, Shockers actually walk faster than them. So um, you got to be very careful not to get caught. No, nobody's destroyed the rocks here. Yeah. Nobody w wants to get too close to each other. These guys are both investing in the late game. Now, this is an extremely tense time. It looks like they are about to engage forward in a huge battle. Uh-oh, really nice positioning right there by Next Genius. He's beginning to move forward. Loner sees it. He's pulling back. He needs to get into a wider arc. He stims. He's trying to pick off the Zealots. Great control by Loner. Doing huge amounts of damage. The Zealots are trying to sprint to the front. Some force fields get thrown down, and there the Vikings are starting to wail away on the Colossus. And it looks like Loner may be winning this battle. The Colossus is taking so much damage. Only three left. Soon we'll be down to two, and he is microing his Marine Marauder Force. Soon Superbly, he is killing so many units for the value. But it looks like Next Genius will be the one to force Loner to retreat. He forgets about a Colossus. Oh no, he loses another Colossus. And it, that is a very huge loss for Next Genius, who came out a little bit ahead. And it does look like he has stopped um, Colossus production for the time being. No, he is starting another one because he is also getting Psionic Storm, an extraordinarily strong spell that just eats Marines and Marauders alive. Well, it looks like it's time for Loner to expand. And as you see, after that battle, very close supply still. That battle was quite even. Loner at 127 and Next Genius at 137. These guys both expanding to each other. Not much room to separate the two. Uh oh, a few units getting caught off guard, getting immediately picked off. Loner's trying to get in a good position. He's going to upgrade that command center to a planetary fortress. And really, up until this point, it looked like the players were playing a little bit stale, dry, just sitting around. But I guarantee you that it is an extremely intense period. It feels a lot like an inverted pendulum in these later stages. Whoever expands first runs a huge risk of losing immediately. So you see how both of them expanded at almost exactly the same time because they were aware of how fragile the game is. And it looks like Next Genius is getting ready to make another push. 
It looks like a lot of Marauders are here. That Planetary needs to finish immediately to help hold this off. And he realizes, oh, here we go. He is engaging. And a lot of micro being done by both sets of units. Marauders running back. And the Vikings killing another Colossus. Amazing play by Loner. Loner pro probably could have killed even more had he uh, decided to chase them down. Um, but in the heat of battle, he didn't. Although, he looks like he might try to go in and engage and go for the kill move here. Oh, that, another close oh, oh. size storm all over the Vikings, but only one cloth is left. Another nice size storm. And you see Loner, he is thinking about retreating at this point because he has hurt, very hurt units. He needs another, to be careful. Oh, oh, the money storm. It looks like that size storm was so brilliant. Oh. He, he has reinforcements on the way. So many side storms being thrown down, but he realizes he has to back up. The Marauders can chase units down. They slow them when they attack. Very nice play by both players here. So hard to tell who's ahead. And you know what's really difficult about Terran is that for the most part, the entire game, they will be making Marines, Marauders, Medivacs, and Vikings those core four units, but Next Genius does have the advantage that he can continue to progress forward and eventually get that high Templar tech, but it looks like, oh my goodness, a Banshee coming out, as well as Ghost tech. Ghost, great support unit, can knock down shields with one shot. That's right, and you see that he is rallying down more and more units. He's got that planetary to help him out, but the high Templars of Next Genius are what is really scary for him. They are, can just go ahead, storm his units, and that will almost negate his medevac dropships. <laughs> A very bold marauder makes Pretty his ballsy, way back home. Ballsy marauder decided to go back home. All right. Um, he actually just wanted to scout. Actually, Next Genius's army might be too big in this situation. Two Colossus, as well as the Templars. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Forward. oh, that's a ton of damage. Didn't stim. And look, he's just going to stay here. There's not much Loner can do. He just needs to repair and try to get in a slightly better position. Try to pick off one of those Banshees. Banshees deal a lot of damage air to ground. He wants to pick them off to keep his army alive. That's right. Now, this is the battleground for the rest of the game. Neither player will actually go through the rocks anymore because look how close these bases are. If anyone leaves their army from that area, the other player can simply counterattack and kill the base. We have a stamp. Another great size storm. Zealous for charge moving in here. As you can see, the Terran army is getting pretty softened up. But nice micro by Loner. He's doing a lot of damage by pulling those Marauders back and forth. And note that all Loner's really trying to do is take out all those Zealots, because that will force Next Genius to retreat. Unfortunately, Next Genius has nine gateways in the main right now and is taking the bottom left gold expansion. That's going to help his economy hugely. Wow, that is a brave expansion. Takes so close and hard to defend. And here we go. It looks like he wants to attack again. He's got those three Colossi that outrange everything else here, so he can do a lot of poking with them. God, such a tense position right now. Loner has a ghost. He does have enough energy to throw down an EMP. EMP denies all energy, takes that energy right away, as well as shield. So one well-placed EMP can turn the tide of battle. If we look at that resource counting station, we can see that Next Genius is at 158 food, 20 ahead of Loner at 20, or 140 food. Looks like this Banshee is cloaked. It is behind. It is trying to snipe some Colossi. And that is also now going after High Templars. And he needs to kill as many as possible. Here comes the ghost. If he can EMP the High Templars, then he can simply attack. And it will be extremely hard for Next Genius to hold. He's got to be careful. He's clubbing his units together. Quite close. Oh! oh! Shot the ghost. Oh, there's another one, though. Was that a ghost uh -oh. that was killed? Yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> Got a nice feedback off, I believe. Now this other ghost is going to have to hit the High Templars with an EMP, remove their ability to side storm, or otherwise his army will just be crippled before it even engages. Loner is now moving forward. Here comes some more zealots. Loner's trying to pull back. He's trying to spread out. He's relying on the planetary forces. There's the stim. He needs to be careful not to cluster up those units because one storm can kill almost all of his units. And there's the Archon. Oh, so expensive getting caught in the back of the fourth field to try to keep the Archon alive. But Loner really, really wanted that Archon dead. Wow. So he did manage to take both of them out. I think Loner is gaining a lot of ground now, but with that gold base that Next Genius has just taken, which Loner does not know about, he will fly ahead in a few moments. He's, the thing is, he's about to spot it, actually. Uh -oh, it's getting close. Uh -oh. oh, that is one of the worst feelings in StarCraft II when you're just going to check up on something, and oh, there's actually a fully finished expansion there. That's right, he should have scouted a bit earlier, and the army of Next Genius is getting bigger and bigger. Here Loner goes, he realizes he has to get something done, engaging beautiful micro right there, kiting all the units, oh, nice oh, EMPs, yeah. and now he's going after the Colossus. Unfortunately, he really should have EMP'd the Templars. 
You got all the Templars still have energy. Mm. He had sent it and ended up EMP in uh, the Zealots. Oh, and at the bottom corner of the map, it looks like a little SWAT team is heading down to the bottom of Marauders. Marauders kill building so fast, but they are out of stim and they are low on health. And it looks like Next G is just going for a push at the front. He knows half the units are at the bottom. So there's Loner pulling back, going to try to rely on that Planetary Fortress. He is repairing, and oh, <laughs> SCV is taking huge damage. Planetary Fortress at half health, gone. And all the SCVs are taking huge hits as well. Oh, storms on all the Marauders at the bottom left. The expansion is gone, but Next Genius still has his own third base alive. Oh, all of Loner's units are getting annihilated, and there's the good game. Wow. You know, I, I just wanted to make sure. I think I think those were pro gamers playing. Yeah, I will admit. this guy's pretty, pretty sure good. That. Yeah, no. They're both so amazing. That was a great game. You know, they were so neck and neck the entire time, yeah, taking yeah. their third bases at the exact same time, having the same food for most of the game, and it all came down to just one or two little spells after they both poked and prodded each other so much. That game was an excellent example of how big of an influence the map can play into a game, because these players are well known for being extremely aggressive, always poking and prodding at their enemy, but of course, because those distances were long, both players began building up bigger and bigger and bigger forces, and Neither player really wanted to make the first move because whoever did that ran the risk of immediately falling behind and getting crushed. So when they finally did expand at actually the exact same time, it was nonstop battling till the end. So that was a fantastic first match. Yeah, you know, with Scrap Station, it's a great map for that. But our next map is going to be Zelnaga Caverns. Ooh, yeah. It's a much larger map. The spaces where you battle are much more wide open. And that's going to make the Colossus not quite as strong. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we are actually ready to start this. The game is made. The players have confirmed that they're ready. Let's make some noise. We are going into game two between Next Genius and Loner. If you would like Next Genius to win this game and take it to another best of three, give a cheer for Next Genius. And if you would like Loner, the Chinese superhero, to pull it back to one, give a cheer for Loner. So over here at the bottom left, we have our Chinese Terran player, Loner. Uh, he played really well in that last game. He just didn't spot that expansion in time. I think overall his scouting was pretty weak, but he could pull through with a win on this map. You never know. He's a very good player. Up here at the top right, we have Next Genius, uh, who just had stellar, almost perfect play. Uh, it's going to be a tough game for Loner, I think. Yeah, Next Genius, he is such a monster, and he wants to come back. It was a very close match when they hit in the winner bracket final. And in fact, many people thought that Next Genius would take it down. But, you know, one mistake, and Loner is going to kill you. But, you know, it was really hard for Loner in that last game because on Scrap Station, we talked a lot about distances and timing, but there's just not a lot of space to move around always very, very tight corridors. The Marines and Marauders tend to just naturally pack together to be able to get stormed and colossus to death. But on Zelnaga Caverns, a lot of space, very easy to micro. Well, so far, nobody's done anything too crazy. You know, it's a one-on-one -on -one map, so sometimes we see uh, people do moves that are very aggressive, like making gateways outside your opponent's base in regions like this, or you sometimes even hiding them inside. But looks like both these guys have a lot of respect for each other. They're just going to try to play a pretty standard game. Yeah, a lot of the time when you see someone try to cheese early, you know, make those gateways outside the base, try to get a quick win, it's because the player is a lot better than them. Both these players are having such close games. They realize that, well, you know, you want to have that long game because likely you're going to be stopped if you try to rush. Pretty much synchronized um, scouting patterns here for these two. Now note this, he's going to harass the SCV, which is making the barracks. That means he's going to have to take that SCV off he actually might even be able to get the SCV. That would be a huge blow to Loner early on. Uh-oh, Loner's uh -oh. trying to do a surround, but who does manage to pull out at the last second. There still is a wounded SCV back there. Always very, very effective play. Again, you've got to make use out of all your units. May as well do a little harassment with the worker. And meanwhile, a next genius's base, same basic structure, a gateway, a cybernetics core, and a gas geyser down. That's right. We're not really going to see any deviations from the normal openers in Terran vs. Protoss until they can get rid of these scouts. The SCV and the probe can see what's going on, and until you remove them with a ranged unit that they can't run away from, then they are going to be there looking over your shoulder every second, and you just don't want to show them what you're doing. Absolutely, and something we didn't talk about last game are these Zelnaga towers that are in the center of the map. If you have a unit next to it, it gives a huge space of vision, and vision is one of the most important resources in StarCraft II because you cannot see everything that is going on around the map, making sure your opponent is not swinging around for a hidden attack or just trying to do some scouts so key you have.